Hi, welcome to Math Minute. My name is Adam, and this is the second part of Shortcuts to Differentiation. Really quick review again. This is what we're doing. This is the shortcut to find this. So let's start again with rule number four where we left off. So this has to do with variables as exponents. So if we have some positive constant a to a power x, this equals that same thing times ln of that base. So a quick example of this is the derivative of, let's use 7, to the x. Now what this says is it's the exact same thing times ln of 7. Now one thing I, do, I would like to stress quickly before I move on is in order to apply one of these rules, it has to fit exactly. There's no exceptions. It can't even look similar to it. If you can't make your problem look exactly like this, don't try to apply the rule. Because you'll see later that we get some more complicated methods of solving these. So really, it just needs to look exactly like it. So this next one is natural exponent. This is kind of similar to this one. What it says is that if we have the derivative of e to the x, which e is that constant, that financial number, equals e to the x. So e is actually a positive constant. So we could apply this e to this rule. So this would actually equal e to the x times ln of e from this, if we're applying this rule. But what does ln of e equal? Just 1. So now you know why it equals the same thing. It just equals e to the x. That's a really important rule to remember, and it's just something you have to memorize. Next is logarithmic functions. Um, this one we have the derivative of log base a x. And what that equals is just 1 over x times ln a. So if this was, for example, I'll use 7 again, since it is my favorite number for some reason. And 7 goes here. Nothing really changes. So this, however, is an extension. Excuse me, this is an extension of this. Because ln is just log base e. So if we applied this same rule to this, you'll see what happens. If we had the derivative of log base e of x, now applying this, this is just 1 over x ln of e. 1 over x times ln of e. And very similar to why this just equals e to the x, this just equals 1 over x because ln of e equals 1. So this is an extension of this. Okay. So the last one is trig functions, and I'm assuming there's a lot of you out there like me who are kind of afraid of trig. Um, but just remember that sine goes to cosine, cosine goes to sine. But the second part, when cosine goes to sine, it becomes negative. There's a few ways to remember this. Just try to find some method in your head that you know that when you take the derivative of cosine, it becomes negative. There's different ways to do this. I like to look at it as the second one becomes negative. Somehow that works for me. I don't know. You'll find a method that'll work for you. So with this, just remember the derivative of sine equals cosine, and the derivative of cosine equals negative sine. So this has been the second part of Shortcuts to Differentiation. Uh, I really kind of completed this list. And when you're applying these rules, do the same method um, where you have your equal sign and circle the rule over top. This will become really easy for you really fast. And if you actually have a list next to you while you're solving this, it'll become like nothing in probably a week. So hopefully this has been helpful, and we will see you next time.